What would be the hardest thing to do in the cycling industry besides trying to become a pro cyclist? Ta da! Let's start a brand. Steve's always had crazy ideas, most of them just completely stupid. But yeah, with this bike idea that was bigger than, bigger than Ben Hur. For it to be the biggest adventure cycling brand in the world. And I uh, thought, okay, well, let's just focus on wheels. That's a good starting point. He put something on Facebook going, oh, I'm involved with some wheel company. Do you need some wheels for your bike? And I'm like, that was perfect timing. And came down and put some wheels on my bike and I really loved them and went, hey, I wonder if there's anything I can do to help. I was one of the Curve's first customers and that quickly turned into uh, uh, one of Curve's first marketers. <laughs> I reckon I had probably 30 possible brand names. Most of them were actually places. One that always comes to mind is Kilmore, for some reason, that came on the list. It's a place that we drive past quite often when we go to the high country. Kilmore, that always popped up on the sign. So I wonder if that would work as a brand name. A bit grim sounding, but kind of could be cool. So it just got whittled down. I raised Curve is one of my favourites. The word Curve is generally spoken about in a positive light. Curves in the road is always, you know, a nice thing. Curves in the trail. Curves in general are nice. So that's how it kind of stuck. It was like three guys in a shed um, when it all started. And we wanted products that we want to use ourselves and we'd stake our own adventures on. Sometimes those bikes don't exist. Why does the brand exist and why do these bikes exist? We were just carbon wheels and we were at the time working on frames. So we had a lot of ideas, but being such a small company with only three people, it was pretty hard to bring those ideas to reality. There's obviously a minimum order quantities that you have to be able to shift. Once the first frame came out, which we we did via a crowdfunding project, which was not crowdfunding like we know it by Kickstarter or anything like that. It was literally just by asking our mates if they would want to buy a frame or pre-buy a frame. And next thing you know, we'd sold 20 frames and we had our first frame out on the market. Most of the time, it's not labelled a race, but it's always a race. Endurance isn't easy, nor is starting a business. It's a battle. It's a bit of a fight for survival. You're scrapping for a living. You get pretty beaten up, that's for sure. You know, there's highs, there's lows. Um, it's hard work, it's, it's fun. You know, you've just got to work at it and know that, know that you, you can make it. I think the world's a much better place with bikes involved in it. Smile for me, man. You know, people all over the world that are part of the, the broader family of Curve, and I think that's what's special about the brand. 